Okay, so I saw Fences yesterday, which concluded all of the Oscar nominees for Best Picture this year. I've seen them all, so I just wanted to make a video ranking them all, saying why I liked, disliked certain elements of some. There's none of these movies I actually disliked. Um, I just love others more than some. Like, I don't know. That I have problems with a few of the movies on this list, and I will talk about those. I've reviewed a few of them. I haven't reviewed them all, but I'm just going to go out and say I don't hate any of these movies. I don't dislike any of these movies. I like them all, I just don't love them all, so let's talk about that and rank all nine of the Best Picture nominees for 2017. And coming in at number nine, we have um, Lion, which is, you know, it's that movie that you know is going to be kind of Oscar Beatty, but I didn't feel like it would get nominated, so I was surprised when it did. Uh, I saw this movie, I enjoyed it, but it didn't leave as much of an impact on me as I thought it would. You know, it was emotional at parts, it was emotional when it needed to be, but it wasn't that movie that I left feeling, oh, whoa, that really, that was... I mean, there are other movies on this list that made me feel that way, and that's why Lion's so low down. Because in my opinion, it's just not that memorable of a movie, but it's a it's good movie. Uh, it, it, should you see it? Probably, yeah, but you know. Anyway, number eight is a movie that a lot of people will disagree with, and that is Moonlight. Um, I made a video on Moonlight saying about why I liked and disliked certain elements of the film, because people seem to think this is a flawless movie, and in my opinion, it just wasn't. I mean, it was decent, it was good, I'm glad I saw it. I wouldn't, like, I don't regret seeing it or anything, and I feel like I probably should watch it again because I feel like there's something I might have missed out on the first time because everyone seems to absolutely adore this movie and it's just like, yeah, I enjoyed it, but there's nothing in it that stands out to me. I mean, it's nice to see a refreshing take on the story that they went with. It's nice to see, you know, a lot of these actors, they're very good. It's a very well acted movie, but I'm just saying it didn't have an impact on me again. Like, you know, a lot of these movies had impact on me. Moonlight didn't. I walked out going, yeah, it was a movie. I saw it. It was... It was decent, uh, and then I forgot about it. So, yeah, that's why Moonlight's so low down, because a lot of people will probably say this is their favourite, and that's fine, you know, if this wins, then it's not like I'm going to be mad and start raging or anything. It's just that I feel like uh, seven movies deserve it more. So, you know, let's move on to Manchester by the Sea, which is a movie that I thought was great. Now, if anyone should win Best Actor this year, it is Casey Affleck for this movie. But the reason the movie isn't higher up is because it's just, it wasn't, again, it wasn't that memorable. It was good. And I really liked it when I was watching it. I loved it when I was watching it. And then, like, you know, I think back to it and I'm like, there's not anything that really stood out in particular. It was great. I mean, it had well acted, a good story and everything. But, you know, nothing really stood out. And I went, yeah, that deserves to win Best Picture. Uh, moving on to Hidden Figures, which is a movie that really, really surprised me. Uh, I saw the trailer and then about a week later the Oscars uh, nominees came out and I was like, oh, Hidden Figures got nominated. I, just, I didn't know anything about this movie a week ago. But yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this movie. It was a very enjoyable, good story. I'm glad I saw it because I now know the full story and that's great. But, you know, I, I feel like it definitely won't win. It was just a cool surprise that it got nominated. And it's great that it got nominated because, you know, I feel like this is one of those movies that, yeah, it deserves to be nominated. Uh, probably won't win. Uh, definitely won't win but you know maybe it'll surprise us who knows so moving on to number five we have hello high water which i walked out loving i love this movie i've only seen it at one time i want to see it again but this movie was very good and again it was a huge huge surprise because i didn't think the oscars would look at it at all uh, and it got loads of nominations which is great especially the fact that it got nominated for best picture uh, i should probably buy this movie on blu-ray and watch it again because i really liked it but yeah, Hello High Water was that story where it was such a simple story. But uh, the way they told it and the way it was done, it was like, yeah, this movie's great. I have a review on this movie if you want to see that. I have a review on the top four, apart from Fences, because I only saw it yesterday. But uh, yeah, I mean, this movie was so, so good. And it was such a great surprise to see it nominated. So uh, yeah, number five goes to Hello High Water. And at number four, we have... Fences, which is the newest one on this list. Uh, saw it yesterday and I, I almost didn't see it because it was on such a limited release. It was supposed to come out like a week ago and then it didn't come out and then they released it this week at some really awkward times. But I managed to go and check out it yesterday and I'm really glad I did. Now, if you're put off by dialogue in a movie, then Fences won't even touch your ranking. 
This movie is all about the dialogue and all about the raw emotion and acting. The ending shot of this movie alone just made me feel like, yeah, this definitely should be in the category. Um, the ending shot was so beautiful. The whole movie was beautiful. It was beautifully shot, beautifully acted. Denzel Washington was great. His character was a dick, but he was one of those characters where you hate him, but you love the performance. And that's what... It's one of the biggest compliments I can give to performers. If I hate a character then it's, it's a huge compliment to the actor portraying them. So, you know, Fences was so good. And I feel like not a lot of people have seen it and people should go and see it. Um, yeah, if this wins, I'll be happy. I mean, the other three movies that I've got ranked above it, I feel like are better movies in their own rights. But this one, you know, if it wins, great. But yeah, it, it's a surprise because again, I didn't think it would get nominated because I didn't know anything about it before I even watched it. I just saw a trailer and I was like, yeah, I guess it looks cool. And it was, it was great. So, number three, I love the fact this movie was nominated. It really defined, you know, brought a new definition to the sci-fi fran uh, franchise, the sci-fi uh, genre. There we go. It really brought a new sort of definition to that, and Arrival was a great movie. Amy Adams was great. I feel like she definitely got snubbed in the Best Actress category, along with Taraji P. Henson from Hidden Figures. But, you know, this movie was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Um... Again, if this came out like a year ago, I don't think anyone would have nominated it over the movies that got nominated like last year. But in this category, there's such a huge range of movies. I feel like because of the controversy last year, people were like, yeah, you know, the only real surprise we got last year was Mad Max Fury Road. And this year we've got loads of them and Arrival was one of those and it was great and I love it. And I'm glad that it's here because it was like my third favorite movie of 2016. Um, now the top two did come out in 2016 in the US, but they didn't come out in... Uh, the UK until this year and these are two of my favourite movies of the year so far so at number two we have Hacksaw Ridge which was such a good movie Mel Gibson was great if he doesn't win Best Director or Damien Chazelle I guess that spoils my number one choice but if not, if either of those two don't win Best Director you know there's something wrong with the Academy but Hacksaw Ridge was great uh, it was a story I didn't know again it was just done so well it was such a different take on the war genre it like it i can't express how much i love this movie there is a full review of this movie on the channel if you want to check that out but number two we have hacksaw ridge and let's just move on to my number one choice which is of course la la land now this is the movie i walked out of this year yeah hacksaw ridge made me feel emotional at the end but this one i walked out thinking that was genuinely flawless there was nothing in this movie that i dislike i loved every single thing every second of this movie when it ended i was like i need more Damien Chazelle, I need more of his movies, Whiplash and now La La Land, two of the best movies in this fucking century, man. Ugh, that, they're such great movies, and La La Land definitely deserves to win Best Picture. I feel like it will anyway, I feel like it's kind of a given at this point, because it's won, like, everything so far. But, you know, it's just my choice, it's not me, you know, just agreeing with everyone else. I'm saying I absolutely love this movie, I walked out loving every second i wanted to see it again i still haven't seen it again i need to see it again i'm gonna buy it on blu-ray but la la land's great and i feel like this should and will win best picture so there you have it that's my top nine you know ranking in order of what i think should or shouldn't win best picture i'm not saying any of these shouldn't win i mean they're all fine but that's just the way I feel they should, you know, that's what I feel deserves it. I feel La La Land should win, but if Hacksaw Ridge or Arrival won, then I'd be fine with that. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you want to win next Sunday. I think it airs on the 26th. So let me know what you guys want to win, what films you want to win, what, any other category. Let me know. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you not? If not, then comment below and I will see you guys soon.